So let's start with this number one. This is what you're on most all night. Huh? So, so yeah, this, um, our new album's called The Nowhere Generation. It's like this black and white and gray motif. So I, we had this idea, like, let's do this uh, color scheme with our instruments. And so I immediately was like, I'm going to rip off Michael Schenker because I think he's the greatest lead guitar player of all time. Uh, or at least one of them. I don't want to get the comment section going, but because uh, <laughs> it will. Uh, and so I did this. And so now Michael Schenker can come at me. At least it's not a flying V. Right. I did it with a Les Paul custom, and it was one I already had, so it already has the, the, you know, the belt rash and everything, the buckle rash. I used to call it Ace Freely because I used to rip off Ace Freely aesthetically with it. It had white <laughs> pickup rings, it had the white uh, poker chip, uh, gold speed knobs, and so it looked like, and it had the, the stark white Les Paul custom pit guard, so it looked like, you know, Ace Freely's custom right. that had the, the three, you know, and his had three DiMarzio Super Distortions, I believe, so I never had, I never quite got that far with it. But then I, I pulled it out of retirement and I'm doing this with it now. Looks good, looks good. Yeah, so I'm kind of using it for uh, kind of everything. I had the neck shaved recently by a guy named Peter Scametta that used to work for Performance Guitars in LA. He's in Austin, Texas now. It looks and great, I love the stinger look. He <laughs> yeah. did the stinger. Yeah, it's awesome. He did the stinger uh, and he's, he's amazing. He, he does stuff for me at home. And uh, yeah, so I've been using this uh, as my main guitar the whole time. It's got a JB in it. Which, uh, it's funny, all three of my guitars out here have different pickups in them that are all similar. So we'll get to that. Yeah. But yeah, that's the main guitar. Are you ever on the neck pickup? Um, for, usually if I get a clean stuff. If, right, like if right. it's a clean tone thing, I'll go to the neck pickup. And if I'm gonna go for like, we have a part in the set where we just kind of jam one part and I'll just go for, you know. Fatten it up. Yeah, yeah, I'll just go for that. But for the most part, yeah, I'm yeah. kind of that guy. Man, I've always, always kind of avoided uh, LP style guitars, and I have a bunch because of the switch right there. If you're playing fast, you know like, what, I man? hit it all the time. I've gotten so used to I play a little low, and I've gotten to where like... So used to it. Well, yeah, because, you know, for us, it's a good kill switch, too, because if you have this pickup turned down... Roll it off. You can, yeah. yeah, and then you can kind of swell it in a little bit, and then boom, back, you know, right. so I've just gotten to where I use it. I mean, I'm, it's it's like second nature. Which, that's a huge practical use I for you guys, because you have a lot of swell. Yeah, 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 a lot of that stuff. So, and, yeah. Last thing, that's a real, real chunky uh, LP body. It is. Is, that he is it heavier than normal? It is, it is heavy because it's like old spec. It's not, yeah. you know, chambered or anything like that. This is a mid-aughts custom shop, Les Paul custom, that I had painted. So, of course, I messed it up. But, yeah. But, yeah, just for aesthetics. And I don't know, I might keep this this way for a while and go back to black at some point. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Cool. Who knows? Yeah. Well, all right, what's next? All right, so up next, this is a... Again, I believe in 2012, Gold Top that my buddy Britton Nash, hi Britton Nash, at the amazing Nash Guitars, um, he just did this to it. Uh, I gotta it be was, honest, I see Relic guitars all the time. This guy killed it. Like the amazing. checking is, per it really looks it's totally authentic. It's yeah. unbelievable. He, um, I, it was already gold. He took that finish off. I was gonna say it's because it's muted almost. Yeah. It looks like. And he just did this, so it looks like a 57 or something, you know? Yeah. He just, I mean, he aged the hardware, he aged everything on it. And this one has a DiMarzio Super Distortion. Those are uh, fun, yeah. Yeah, upon the recommendation of my good buddy, uh, Brian Baker, they, from Friend of the Show, yeah. Bad Religion, because he's- He kind of knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he does, he does. And he's sort of my like uh, gear guru guy, and he always gives me a bunch of shit about stuff I use. And he, you know, Brian Baker approves this entire rig, so I'll, I'll go and preface it. Hey, that's, that. a, that's a pretty good endorsement. Yeah, yeah, we're good there. Yeah. So this is sort of the, the second. Um, and these guitars, I had this one made a few years ago, and then if you watch the last rig rundown, we tried to um, do Evertune bridges, which we did for a while, and I wasn't about to Evertune Can't. these guitars that I have out here. So no. we Evertuned some Les Paul Classics, which were great. And uh, so I've since retired those. Yeah. So, What's yeah. wild to me is that the finish, like, because I don't know if you've, you know, on a real vintage, like a 58 or a 59, I guess they were using some sort of like copper to get that oh, gold top. Yeah, and so a lot yeah. of times when you see them fade, it has like a green tinge to it. Yeah. And it almost looks like that in certain lights. He, he murdered it. He's so gnarly. He might have done what, you know, whatever. Super if his impressed. hands are on a guitar, they just play and sound better yeah. to me. He, again, <clears throat> excuse me, shaved the neck, which I like to have done to all the guitars. I have really small hands, so. I like to have the, at least the top coat shaved down a bit. I, I just feels, you know, I don't yeah. like the big chunky oh, fat necks, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> so this is another standard. It's a 2013 that Britton Nash also uh, tricked out for me. And awesome. uh, again, <clears throat> did an amazing job relicking. This was already a Cherry Sunburst Les Paul. Uh, 
And he was like, hey man, I do this to Gibson's if you want, because I had bought a few of his amazing guitars and I have a relationship with him, also through Brian Baker. And did this, this one has a Lawler in it. Oh. Uh, yeah, so I have three well, different pickups. But I kind of like- house loves you. Yeah, right? <laughs> I like having that sort of, uh, that sort of variety. But you know, I mean, my tech, Mr. Jeff Bilson over here, there's not a ton of difference tonally because they're sure. all pretty high output pickups. So. Well, and you're playing with a, quite a bit of gain. So exactly, yeah, yeah. and playing with a bit of gain. So this would be the one I go to third.